Hi everyone, how are you all? Hope all of you are doing well. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about the addition of integers. This is the fourth chapter of standard six. Already the introduction of this chapter I have explained. So if you haven't gone through that video, please go through that video. So here we are going to discuss the addition of integers. You know that the integers contains or includes positive numbers, negative numbers and zero. So different possibilities are there for the addition. So we will discuss the different possibilities and we will see what are the rules that we should follow for the addition of integers. So the first condition is that both the numbers are positive. Suppose you have given two numbers. Two numbers are positive. That is easy only from smaller standard onwards you are learning that one only. Suppose 16 and 5. You have to add. You know that these two numbers are positive. So directly you can add no confusion already in smaller standard you have learned all this. So 16 plus 5 is equal to 21. So this is the first condition both the numbers are positive. So the second condition is that both the numbers are negative that may also occur. So both the numbers are negative. Suppose I am taking minus 5 plus minus 6. Here you can see that the first number is also negative and the second number is also negative minus 5 plus minus 6. In this situation also you can add the numbers directly that means you can add 5 and 6. What will you get when you are adding 5 and 6? Yes you will get 11 but you should keep the negative sign here so the answer will be negative 11. Suppose positive 5 and 6 means you will get the answer in positive 11. Here the numbers are negative minus 5 plus minus 6 that means the answer also will be negative that means 5 minus 5 plus minus 6 is equal to minus 11. Next the third condition is that one number will be positive and the other number will be negative. So we will see at that condition what we have to do. So this is the question I have written here minus 5 plus 8. Here you can see that the first number is negative and the second number is positive. So in this condition what do you have to do? You have to follow one rule here. I will tell the rule now. So what do you have to do here? First you have to do the subtraction here. Instead of addition what do you have to do? You have to do the subtraction. Subtraction you know that always you are subtracting a smaller number from a bigger number. So here bigger number is 8 and smaller number is 5. So you have to subtract 5 from 8. Then what will you get when you are subtracting 5 from 8? You will get 3. Now what about the sign? You have to keep the sign of the bigger number here. Which one is the bigger number? 8 is the bigger number. It is positive. So the answer also will be positive. That means minus 5 plus 8 is equal to plus 3. So this is the rule that you have to follow when one number is positive and the other number is negative. So we will take another example that is minus 12 plus 7. So here also one is negative and the other one is positive. What do you have to do? You have to do the subtraction. That means from bigger to smaller. That is 12 minus 7. 12 minus 7 means you will get 5. What about this sign? The sign should be the sign of the bigger number. So which one is the bigger number here? 12 is the bigger number here. And what is the sign of bigger number here? It is negative. So the answer also will be negative. So like this way you have to do the addition. Three conditions we discussed. One, both the numbers may be positive and second both numbers may be negative and the third one, one is positive and the other one is negative. Next we are going to discuss about the subtraction. How we will do the subtraction in the case of integers. Next we are going to discuss about the subtraction. Before discussing the subtraction we have to discuss one term that is additive inverse. So what do you mean by additive inverse? Already we have learned additive inverse means you are changing the sign. 
positive means you are writing the negative or negative means you are writing the positive that is mean by additive inverse changing this sign suppose plus 3 means additive inverse of positive 3 will be negative 3 what will be the additive inverse of minus 5 additive inverse of minus 5 will be plus 5 so this is what is mean by additive inverse so you should know what is an additive inverse to do the subtraction otherwise you can't do the subtraction so here i have written one question that is 13 minus minus 8 so you have to do the subtraction so the rule for subtraction i will tell first first the first number you should keep it as only 13 will remain as it only and the negative that means subtraction sign here subtraction sign is the so subtraction sign will change into addition so in addition we have discussed that in last case we have to do the subtraction here the subtraction sign will change into addition sign after that what you have to do you have to write the additive inverse of second number what is second number here minus 8 keep in mind you have to change the additive inverse you have to write the additive inverse of second number only minus 8 means it will change into plus 8 additive inverse of minus 8 is plus 8 so you can see that now both the numbers are positive that means rules for addition you can follow now 13 plus 8 you will get 21 so this is how you have to do the subtraction of integers. I am going to take one more example. Suppose minus 15 plus minus 6. Here both the numbers are negative. So what do you have to do? The first number will remain as itself. No need to make any change for the first number. The subtraction sign will change into addition sign. And the second number minus 6. Instead of minus 6 you have to write the additive inverse. What is the additive inverse? 6. So now you can apply the rules for addition one number is positive and the other number is negative so what do you have to do you have to do the subtraction 15 minus 6 you will get 9 9 plus 6 15 and you have to keep the sign of the bigger number what is the sign of the bigger number negative so the answer will be negative so this is the way how you have to do the subtraction of integers so we will do some of the sums related to this integer. So I have written one question here. What is the question? Find the sum of 23 and minus 34. So you have to add 23 and minus 34. Subtract the sum from minus 65. You have to subtract the sum from minus 65. So first we will find the sum of 23 and minus 34. So 23 plus minus 34 so you know that one number is negative and the other number is positive so you have to do the subtraction when you are doing subtraction you have to do 34 minus 23 what will you get you will get 11 now you have to keep the sign of the bigger number which one is the bigger number 34 is the bigger number so what is the sign of the bigger number that is negative so you have to keep negative here so you will get negative 11 now what you have to do you have to subtract the sum from minus 65 from minus 65 you have to subtract minus 11 okay minus 65 minus minus 11 so you have to apply the rule for subtraction so minus 65 instead of subtraction sign you have to keep addition sign now you have to write the additive inverse of negative 11 that is positive 11 again one number is negative and other number is positive so you have to do the subtraction when you are doing subtraction 4 and 5 you will get 54 sign will be negative because the sign of the bigger number you have to keep so the answer will will be minus 54. So like this way you have to solve the problems related to the integers. I hope all of you have understood the topic that I have discussed in this video. Thank you all and have a nice day.